Hello, teacher. Hello, Daisy. How are you today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm very good. <laughs> the weather in Cape Town is very nice and sunny. It's warm. How is Guangzhou? Um, on morning it was a little bit cold, but I don't know the. I think it will be cold. A little bit cold. But it's getting warmer. All right, Daisy. How has this week been? This week we are on. We are Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Is there anything interesting happening? How is that competition? You are going to do the Chinese competition. When is that happening? Uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wow. Uh, it is not real competition, and it is competition to go to the real competition. So I need to record my voice. That I wrote that my my speech my speech yes sp speech and I need to record my voice and send and like my other uh, uh helping a uh, Chinese speaking helping teacher told me that four five six and grade four only me and grade five I uh two people. And grade six, or two people, so it's five five people like competition in, in our school, and um, uh, only one or one or zero person will go to the. <laughs> we'll go to the final competition. So from these five people, only one or zero will go to the final. So. Because Every aware in art, so like so, and like one hundred and some people. Wow! So this is a big competition. That's really cool, though. This is a nice experience. You must enjoy this experience because not everyone is having this experience. You are one of the lucky ones because your Chinese is so good. <laughs> so then, so then, Daisy, you said tomorrow you will record and send. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you don't say the speech to someone. You will record it. In real competition, we need to memorize and say to the audience. Like, say to the audience. But not tomorrow. Yes, not tomorrow. And do you know in the final competition where is the final competition? Is uh, maybe it's in China. Sure. I think it's in China somewhere. Eh? Uh, well, you said it's around the world. You said people around the world. Oh, well, I think uh, my teacher said it is in Guangzhou. It is in Guangzhou. Oh, okay. The, I don't know. I was just guessing. I was just guessing. <laughs> All right. So that's something exciting. That's what's. That's what you are thinking about, now. All right, Daisy. Anything else you want to share with me before we start? Um, I think... No? Okay. Not... That's fine. Let's start. Today I want to talk with you about Earth and how old Earth is. Do you know how old our planet is? I don't know. In science class, what are you what are you what is the, your topic you are learning in science? Uh, our body ah, system. You are, okay, you are learning about the body. The, bo the body system. Oh, which system? The respiratory system? The circulatory? I, I, we learned that and not body system and ah, skeletal and muscular system and how to take care and like digestive system wow. and like molecular stomach. And Wait, you did all of this in two weeks? You only started school two weeks ago. Yeah. How did you do all this in two weeks? Science teachers say it is too uh, late because on July or June, there have first uh, SA exam, but we need to go through 12 units, but we didn't even finish one unit. What? You didn't even finish one unit? You were telling me about all the different systems, the digestive system, respiratory system. Are they all in one unit? 
um, we did we don't learn about like respiratory system and <clears throat> like skeletal system, muscular system, digestive system, and how to take care of them and that. And that is all in one unit. Wow, that, that's a very long unit. Okay, Daisy, <clears throat> let's have a look at this picture. This is the timeline of Earth. So when Earth was first created up until now you can see at the right is the modern humans we are the modern humans and humans have been around for about 40,000 years if you wow. go if you go back to you can see the dinosaurs are there and then there is plants cells and then the water and then the earth so how old is earth look at this picture and tell me when did earth start 4.6 billion of years ago. Okay, so Earth started 4.6 billion years ago. If you want to say how old Earth is, you will say Earth is about 4.6 billion years old. Not wow, a, we need to put in a Guinness World Record. Say again, what about the Guinness World Record? I think we need to put the art on uh, our age to the Guinness World Record and Why? art Be with the oldest. Earth is old, but Daisy, what about other planets? Other planets may be even older than Earth. Um. Yeah, okay. So, Earth starts, I'm going to write a short sentence here where I want to emphasize. So here. Earth was created about 4.6 billion years ago. Then we have the water. Water started to form. Daisy, then we have here about 2 billion years later. Cells. Cells start to form. Did you learn about cells? in science class not yet i N think not yet okay so let's talk about what is a cell can you read for me cells start to form cells start to form so daisy everything is made of cells even our body our body is made up of so many cells that are together so for example right now if you look look at your hand look at your skin what can you see with your eyes? <laughs> you can see your skin, right? You, ca you, cannot see, you cannot see much. But if you have a microscope, if your eyes were super microscope eyes, you will be able to zoom in and see what's happening over here and you will be able to see your skin cells. I want to see. Let's have a look at what the skin cells look like. Uh, here we are. Right, Daisy. Here are our skin cells. If you look, if you zoom into your skin, you have these cells. They are just circles. They are just bubbles. Bubbles together. Cells. And inside the cells, Daisy, inside the cells, there are different things you will learn in science class. Okay, so here is the skin cells. What about, let's look at some plant cells. Okay, Daisy. Oh, no, plant cells. Again, you can see they are, they are small, small, small bags with something inside the bag that is what a cell is uh, plant cell why is there no okay then daisy we also have blood cells so when we see blood with our eyes, it looks like liquid, right? Yes. But if you use a microscope, you will see blood cells. Blood cells look like this. Small, small pieces. 
Maybe cereal. it looks like cereal, yes. <laughs> All right. So Daisy, we saw three types of cells today. What what did we see? What kind of cells did we see? Our skin, we saw skin cells, our plant cells, and our, our blood cell. Blood cells. So let's go back to this photo here. And we see, oh no, our sentences have disappeared. <laughs> okay, let's quickly rewrite them. Earth was created. Can you help me? What was the first sentence? Earth was created. And then, water well, starts. Water, is, uh, water was formed. Starts to uh, form. form. And then, cells started to form start to form and then there was a certain cell it is called plankton plankton is in the ocean and plan Mama. and it makes lots of oxygen so there was lots of oxygen into the atmosphere so <coughs> excuse me you can even see here plants and animals started to grow Grow and then Daisy. Yeah. We have the dinosaurs. How long ago were the dinosaurs alive? Uh, two hundred and forty-eight million ago. Years ago, million years ago. And then after the dinosaurs, Daisy, it was these giant elephants. Maybe you saw the giant elephants. They are called mammoths. Yeah. You have seen. Okay, good. And then we have the people. How long have people been alive for? Uh, 40,000 years ago. 40,000 years. Daisy, that is the timeline of Earth. Can I ask you quickly just to do a short review of the timeline of Earth? Me? Yeah, if you can explain when Earth was uh, created and how did we get to where we are now? Earth was created uh, on 4.6 billion of years ago and water started to form and the cells start to form and the plants and animals started to grow and a dinosaur live in earth uh, 248 million years ago and uh, like us more than humans lived 40,000 years ago okay so now we have a the elephant that I was talking to you about earlier, the one that is extinct, the mammoth. The mammoth looks like this. I want to show you a mammoth. Because dinosaurs are extinct, the mammoth is extinct, but some scientists, they want to bring the mammoth back to life they want to bring it back to life they can do so scientists are researching and developing and always making new technology even dna there is something called dna engineering where they can make or change the dna have you heard of cloning do you know what is cloning no Cloning is where you take one sheep and then you will make the same sheep, the exact same sheep. Uh -huh. This is cloning. So, <clears throat> look at what these scientists are doing, Daisy. Where are we? We are over. Here. Right. This is, this is uh, uh, in a museum. This is the mammoth. 
So let's read the title here. Can you read for me? Scientists inch forward. Scientists inch forward in effort to resurrect an extinct giant. Resurrect means to make alive again. Ah. Daisy, which extinct giant do they want to resurrect? Mammoth. They want to resurrect the mammoth. Can you say for me? They want to resurrect the mammoth. They want to resurrect the mammoth. This giant elephant with giant tusks. Daisy, there can be good things, there can be bad things. Let's discuss them together. <clears throat> what are the benefits of resurrecting this animal? What is we can ride bad? For, we, can, we can ride the okay. mammoth to go somewhere. We can ride the mammoth to go somewhere. That's a brilliant idea. Maybe it can be like a bus. Ten <laughs> students on the mammoth go to school. <laughs> okay, so that's one possibility. That's one one option. That will obvious is that for or against? What is for and against? Okay, so for means <clears throat> remember this isn't this is the scientists' idea. They want to resurrect the mammoth. So for, if you are for resurrecting the mammoth, that means you want it to happen. You think it's a good idea. If you are against uh -huh. resurrecting the mammoth, you think it's a bad idea and you don't want it to happen. For or against. Let's talk about for, let's talk about against. I'm going to go to the whiteboard. Okay. We're going to have a debate. Daisy, this is a debate. Did you ever have a debate? In academy. Oh, what what <laughs> kind of debate did you have? What were you debating about? Uh, like, um, we did many things. And... Um, like, one of the things was like... Uh, uh, do can we give like non adults the like card not like money and we can give card real card like adult use to the like children and like whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, like, that is brilliant like, that is such a good topic should we <laughs> should we give money or a card to young children yes. And what was your, uh, were you for or were you against? Against. Uh, you were against? <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> because you are a young student, so you say, no, I don't want money. I don't want the card. <laughs> why? why? Why are you against? Like, if we, uh, like, if we, like, uh, use all the money, and use all the money for not like like buying something not important like um weird things and like if we if our parents gave us like two hundred thousand won and if we lost that car then it will be very big accident and mm. you I see this is this is why you are you are a good student because you are thinking about the the things that co can go wrong if someone is wasting the money they buy candy not important things if they lose the card it's a big problem you see other students they will think about yes i want that i am four because i want to buy ice cream and cake and cookies <laughs> but you are thinking very real and that's what I like about you Daisy okay so let's go to the debate for or against resurrecting the mammoth well, let's discuss first and then I will ask you at the end what is your opinion
Okay, Daisy, can you see the whiteboard? Yes. Four. Against. Right, now, each reason we started with the sentence. So, I am for resurrecting the mammoth because... One, two, and three. And then against. Daisy, can you make can you change the sentence for against? I would I am against resurrecting the mammoth because one, two, three. Good. Good job, Daisy. One, two, three. All right. So, what did you say? Ride the mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for or against? For. Okay, so number one, we can ride. Oopsie. How do I go here? Because we can ride the mammoth. I'm going to. We don't know if we can, so I'm going to say we can hopefully ride the mammoth. Because it's not guaranteed. <laughs> Ride the mammoth. Okay, any other reasons for? Daisy, I am for resurrecting because that means the scientists are doing really good work. They are improving with their technology. They are advancing technology. Because... The scientists are using advanced technology. This is really difficult to do. I cannot do this. I cannot resurrect an extinct animal. So it, <laughs> it's really amazing that they can do that. Technology. Right, Daisy, can you read for me number one and number two? I am um, I am for resurrecting the mammoth because we can hopefully write the mammoth and the scientists are using advanced technology. Okay, one more time, not advanced, advanced. Ah, oh, advanced technology. Much better. <clears throat> okay. Then we also have it will be a new species it will not mm -hmm. be extinct mm -hmm. anymore so it's like a new animal a new species no longer extinct this will be big news people can go and see the animal they can take photos Ooh. all right Let's go to against. Daisy, I am against because. Uh, mammoth is a wild animal, so it can kill people. It is a wild animal, so maybe we cannot control it. It's very, uh, very similar to the dinosaur, Daisy. If you resurrect the dinosaur and the T-Rex is running in the street, <laughs> a very bad idea. I okay, how about a second reason why we are against? Uh, like someone, like circus, they could use mammoths for like, uh, or like uh, make... Uh, Make people a uh, fun and it can be like a uh, stress to the mm. member. So that is cruelty. They are being cruel to the animals, cruel to the mammals. So cruelty to the mammoths. Yeah, that's one reason why we don't want the animals to, to come back because people will be cruel to them. And then, how about, maybe mammoths cannot survive, Daisy? 
Because mammals yeah. want cold, ice, snow. They want a free. We can send them to the. Uh, to. To the, the North the... Pole. Yes. <laughs> can you say for me? We can send the mammoth to the North Pole. We can send the mammoth to the North Pole. Maybe they cannot survive. So that sounds like you are for the mammoths being resurrected. Right, so maybe they cannot survive. They need freezing temperature. Daisy, can you read for me? Against one, two, and three. I am against resurrecting the mammoths because it is a wild animal, so maybe we cannot control it. Uh, cruel, uh, people can be cruelty to the mammoths and maybe they cannot survive uh, so they need free, freezing temperature so Daisy now I get to ask you your opinion are you for or are you against uh, I am against you are against you don't want them to be resurrected okay yeah. That's that's fair. That's fine. How about you? I am in the middle. <laughs> I am a little bit for, I am a little bit against. I really want to see an extinct animal alive again. But it's a big risk. Like we yeah. said, maybe humans cannot control I would love to see a dinosaur, but it's a risk if the humans cannot control. Alright, Daisy, that brings us to an end of today's class. What are you doing this weekend after the competition tomorrow? Um, I think we don't have the uh, accurate uh, schedule. Oh. You don't have what schedule? I think we will stay in our house. Ah, okay. So you will stay home. Rest and relax. Doing homework. Doing homework. <laughs> but you will not do homework for 24 hours. You will stop and you will maybe make some hot chocolate. Maybe drink some juice. Daisy, what do you do during your break time from homework? Oh, I read books. Good. Daisy, do you have any questions you want to ask me? Mm, uh, <clears throat> what will you do on this weekend? Not on this weekend. What will you do this weekend? What will you do this weekend? So, Daisy... I'm a little bit worried that the warm weather is going to finish quite soon because it's starting to get a little bit cold. Not cold, but just the temperature is starting to not be so hot. So I need to use the warm temperature and I need to go to the beach more. So I think every week, every weekend, I will go to the beach because maybe there are two or three weekends left after... After three weeks, maybe it will start to be too cold to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. So that's what I will do. I will take a walk and I will go exercise at the beach. Daisy, have a wonderful weekend. Good luck for tomorrow. I'm okay. excited. I'm excited to hear next week what will happen. <laughs> have fun. That's the most important thing. Enjoy it and have fun, Daisy. See you okay. next week. Bye-bye. Bye, Daisy.